Hey everybody and welcome to my plain white background. I know it's a spectacle to behold. Again, we're now in autumn, it's getting cold, so I've got quite a lot of new fashion videos to be showing you, which I'm looking forward to. You may be familiar with the brand Necessary Evil, I've talked about them before. So also, well, before I start, please don't look at my hair. I don't know what it's doing today, just, just try not to look at it. <laughs> Necessary Evil is a fashion brand of which I have been a fan and aware of for many years, at least a decade. They make men's and women's things, but today I'm going to show you my favourite pieces from their new autumn collection. Everything I'm going to show you came from the website Kate's Clothing, which is a lovely website that I have been shopping at for many years and I completely trust them. They're a good website and they're nice people. Just for reference, because people always ask, I wear a size large with Necessary Evil, so a size large would be like a UK 14. Their stuff is very what one might call wearable. Staple stuff that can be easily dressed up or down. It's very good quality, I find, and should last you many years. Um, so I'm very proud to show you these new things today. What I'd call like everyday clothes, like simple but stylish and like I said, easy to dress up with. Down. Oh, where should we start? Oh, actually, let's just start with this top that I'm wearing right now. I like this top. I've worn it heaps since I got it because, you know, tank tops are just very useful staple items. So this is a square necked fitting tank top, which I love. It has these little hook and eye decorations on the front. The fabric is super stretchy and soft, slightly flared around the bottom. And this can be worn with so many things. I know I'll be wearing this top lots. And I already have been wearing it heaps. I wore it on the plane to America because it was comfortable. Yeah, like just easy and stylish. Something else that's nice and comfortable and easy for every day are these leggings here. These leggings are of a very soft, somewhat stretchy fabric and are therefore very comfortable. They have corseting up the front. I think they'd look good with fishnets underneath. They're very high-waisted, which I like. The elasticated waist sits smoothly and can have a tight top tucked in or hanging over the top. Leggings with a t-shirt or tank top and cardigan. I don't really know why. That's my kind of go-to Thing. like if I'm going to the supermarket that's what you'll usually see me wearing if you're unfortunate enough to run into me when I'm like not wearing makeup or something and I'm just out in public you'll probably find me <laughs> wearing that sort of ensemble next thing I have to show you is this rather interesting skirt it's a bit unusual there are two skirts like this there's a short version and a long version this is the long version it's a mini layered high-waisted mesh skirt with a wide faux leather waist and faux leather trimming it's a-line shaped but the irregular trim gives it quite an interesting shape along the hem and the way it moves is almost hypnotic perfect for going dancing uh, matched with a crop jacket would be very cute I think the next thing I should mention is probably the other thing that I'm wearing it's this velvet hoodie Mm, this is one of my new favorite things. I love this. I have worn this so much since I, since it got here. This hoodie is my new go-to thing for slinging over the top of pretty much anything. Here I'm wearing with Necessary Evil's Velvet Maxi Dress from my last video to show that it's dressy enough to go with a dress, but casual enough for leggings and a tank top. It has an open front, a large hood, and very long sleeves that gather over the hands. Yeah, this is something else that I've worn heaps. I brought it also with me to the States. It's just so... I don't know, I love velvet. I love velvet and I love that it's kind of open front. I'm not, you know, massively into hoodies, but they are extremely practical and comfortable and just easy. Which brings me to this, which is also a hoodie. This is a slightly unusual hoodie. I quite like it. I think it's got quite a sweet shape. Pretty much all these things are really practical. Like I said, Necessary Evil stuff tends to be very wearable and kind of like everyday stuff. This hoodie is a warm, comfortable, easy, cool looking thing to go to for cold days. It has fleecy lining throughout, a large lined hood, and a cool pointed shape along the bottom. The sleeves have thumb holes and the whole back corsets up so the size is a little adjustable too. It's been very useful for trips to the supermarket and stuff where I need to just put on something quickly and it, it matches perfectly with the leggings. The corseting up the front of the leggings and up the back of this like you know it just it looks like they match it's just nice. Most of these sort of things match each other which is nice. As always I have saved my favorite item for last <laughs> I was so excited when I saw this. I'm quite a fan of jumpsuits and like rompers, that kind of thing. I don't think they look that good on me, but I think they just so good. So I was very excited when I saw this velvet jumpsuit. <laughs> it's a little short in the body for myself, but I don't care. It's very cool. The top half is the same as the tank top with the hooks and eyes straps, a square neckline. There's a row of hooks and eyes up the back of each leg. It's a lovely soft smooth velvet. It looks good with a belt around it and matches perfectly with the velvet hoodie. Like this matches pretty well with this. 
like I said, it's nice that a lot of these things from this new collection look good together, so it's very easy to kind of match an outfit. My only criticism would be with the hooks and eyes on the back of the legs. They can kind of come undone and start like attaching to each other, like if you're sitting down with cross legs or or whatever. But yeah, do let me know which was your favourite item. I think, I don't really know which is my favourite. It's got, it's probably this hoodie. I think I've worn this hoodie the most. Really, it's now one of my like go-to staple things. Yeah, I do love the jumpsuit. I wish it looked a little bit better on me, but you know, that's just my body shape trolling me again. Like I said, all these things came from Kate's clothing. I will of course link everything below for you if you would like it. So thank you very much for watching and putting up with my modelling non-skills. <laughs> Stay warm as the weather gets colder. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye! Correct, 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 correct.